Hello, Hello mine for, for this project, project family. family. We want to send all of you big, 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 biggest, big, biggest, biggest, big <laughs> thank you from our heart. Like really big thank you because all your donations, they saved our ass. To say it in a short version <laughs> and still saving our ass because the project now is closed. So we're alone here. <laughs> <laughs> the last survivor. Yeah, yeah. And actually don't know how long we will stay alone. Carrie is stuck in Australia and there are a lot of restrictions for traveling at the moment. So this is unsure when she will be here. And for sure someone is filming at the moment. So <laughs> we are three actually. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> but Estelle, she will leave also very soon and then we are really alone. <laughs> So we don't know when we can reopen. We think it might go into next year, March, April. Like we hope when we can open in December, we would do. But our feeling is it will not happen. So it will go into March, April next year. So really big thank you again. This is yeah, you you help us to survive. Here. To be here in Thailand was really different. Also during that time, like when we went into the shopping mall. Shortly, two days before, they were shot, like locked down. Nobody could in anymore, could go in anymore. People would really jump backward, kind of a meter, like when they would see, because the minister said that the foreigners bring it back into Thailand, so everybody was scared of foreigners. And it gave me a good experience, kind of, to understand what it means to be an unwanted or kind of dangerous foreigner in a different country. How maybe people feel on the long base being a refugee in a country because we were kind of refugees you know nobody wanted to go back home to Europe it was dangerous to go there or to US nobody wanted to go there and all of a sudden we were kind of refugees and you could feel this way because the Thai government was thinking of should we keep the, uh, the, the foreigners or should we send them back to their homes if we keep them whom do we keep only the people with the money the one who need no we don't want them all of a sudden all these questions that we thought we will never maybe be part of, we're on the other side. It's really interesting to see this and that it's even pushed more into this thinking that we have to think more globally as one human family. It, it's, it is sad also when we went on the island to see like Burmese people because of the borders were shut down, they could not go back home, but they had no family of support, but they have also not the Thai government or whatever support, so they even had no food. This, it's beyond imagination, like how separate we are and how much we think in groups and um, country. We support them, but not the other. So, yeah, there was a big, big learning. It's still a big learning to be here. And we don't know how long, like now, this situation will go on. We think till end of December, we cannot open. Also, the villagers are really afraid that if people start to come in, they might bring something, what is possible. So, yeah, we have to always talk to them what is possible. Traveling at the moment, anyhow, is difficult. So, we think it will be till March or April that we have to stay closed. So, again, big thank you that we can survive this long period. It's because of you. Big bow. Mindfulness family, also from my side, the biggest thank you um, from the heart. You know, you can't imagine what it means to us that we are financially safe until we reopen and even if that is in April next year. And um, of course, we're not spending this time sitting in a hammock and doing nothing. Uh, we are actually working very hard to bring our teachings in all possible ways to you. So we're working very dedicated on Patreon. We are, very, um, we are working on online courses. We are coming up with new teachings and we do everything we can to support you. Also our um, live streams and talking circles on Patreon. And um, we are going to do online courses. We also have new ideas. Um, but the most uh, fascinating thing we are working on right now is we want you guys in your country to meet up online or in person. We want to create um, mindfulness project communities in the country uh, where you are. And um, so stay tuned about this. We're going to post um, stuff about that. And the third big thing we're going to do right now is we're going to make a reforestation project to 
together with villagers, together with monasteries. It was Anya's vision and we are going to um, put that into the ground so that in the times where we have um, time now um, to focus on other things, this will be our main priority and we are super pumped up. So thank you guys for allowing us um, to do this work. Thank you so much um, that we can do that because of the support you are giving us and for your giving nature. And we will do everything we can, I promise, to bring more freedom and more love into this world um, so that the whole planet will be a different one.